Good morning, welcome back to another kitchen renovation vlog. Oh my goodness, today's the day that we have waited for. Today's September 2nd. I think my windows, my, my kitchen window was removed on like the 9th, the 8th, July the 8th. My window was out and today's September the 2nd and my new window is here and is going to be put in today. So it's the day I've waited for and I'm so excited. It is currently 7.43 in the morning and my guy told me that he was coming yesterday, but then Monday, if you saw that vlog, we had a torrential rain, flood in the basement. Yeah, so it put him behind a day. He has not told me that he's not coming today. He said, let's push it to Wednesday and that's the last I heard. So it's almost eight o'clock on Wednesday. So if he wasn't coming today, surely he would have called by now. So. I'm hoping he's coming. I'm gonna get my window put in and then I'm gonna get this window put in and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's done. I'll, I'll just show you what it looks like right now real good and then you can see when he's finished. So if you remember, we had to raise our window up. It was further down than this. It was like, yeah, pretty far down. So we raised it up a lot so it's gonna be a lot smaller. But having this plywood in here for so long, it's gonna seem like a huge window. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to put, or he's going to put, um, just some, not window trim, just, I just wanted wood. It's going to go along here, you know, and frame the window. So I did my bricks over far enough and the wood is going to frame it. And then I'll be painting it white. And then our backsplash will come right up to here. So, you know, it'll be backsplash all underneath and it's the white beadboard. So... There is a good look at what it looks like before. It's going to look so different. And then over here is just my um, laundry room window. This window, I don't know how old it is, but it is really bad and really needing to be replaced. So that's going to be the same. Um, they're going to have full glass panels, not the, um, you know, the window panes in them. So, um, and I'll be able to open them and clean them i'll be able to have screens this one has a screen but my kitchen window has never had a screen since we've moved here so you know in cooler weather i can open the window and let the fresh air in and that is something i'm so excited to do all right so it's a little while later and i just had a call from my guy and he said that he is delayed a little bit but he's hoping to be here by lunchtime so that's pretty much the story of this whole kitchen renovation well, it is now 5.15 in the afternoon and we don't have a window today. He, it is thundering. Big surprise, right? It's raining again. It's a big storm, big storm. He called and said that he his job today just took longer, which usually happens. So he says he's gonna be here at nine o'clock in the morning. So one more day. Alright, so it's, um, they're not finished yet, but here's a little sneak peek of <laughs> my kitchen window and then this one. And this one right here, I am loving. It's so huge. It doesn't have the panes on it. It just feels so open and wide and like, it looks like there's not a window there. Although my blinds are usually down, but love that window. This one is teeny tiny <laughs> and a little disappointing how tiny it is. It comes in so far so far over here and up here so i knew it was going to be smaller but now it's like even way smaller but it's a window and i'm definitely grateful to have a window and i wanted i was the one who wanted it to come up so high because i wanted to have um backsplash here i didn't want it to be splashing on the window so that was my choice it's just really small so it's just gonna have to get used to it but there's a little look at it we have to obviously do the trim and all that they're still working on it so you can see it was just set in, but I'm gonna actually have a little ledge there, which will be nice. So there's just a look, and I guess I'll show you again when they're totally finished. So this is my window with the trim, and I told him I wanted, um, you know, just like trim like this rather than the, you know, door, regular, regular door or window trim. I just wanted the plain, you know, what is it, one by four? That is what it looks like. So excited now I can put in my uh, 
I can get Marion to put in the backsplash and then we're gonna be done. And then this window in here, all my cats are like back out now because the, they get scared when the guys are here. <laughs> so the, um, well, this isn't a cat, is she? Um, but this window is amazing. I can't even tell you. Everybody that walks in is like, oh my gosh, it looks like there's nothing here. It's so nice. We've just never, I don't really open these blinds. I mean, I twist them open, but I didn't like pull them up because the window was so terrible and I hated it and I love this. It is amazing. All right, well, it is Saturday as you saw and we are actually going to be, it's actually one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> we just took the morning off and we ate lunch and we were going to start on the backsplash and we realized we don't have, Mary realized we don't have liquid nails, which is what he's going to actually hold it up with. So we're going to run to Lowe's and grab that. We also have to get the trim to go around like the edges of the um, backsplash. It's going to actually come like this and then down. So I need to get trim for that. And then I'm gonna get like a piece of something to go right here. And then I thought about putting, we're gonna have the backsplash here. And then I have this like pretty big gap right here with my stove and the wall because of the way that the plug is. We talked about having our contractor like move the plug going uh, vertically instead of horizontally, but we just didn't have time. We ran out of time. So, you know, it sticks out a little bit, which is fine. I see that in a lot of kitchens where the stove comes out further. But I thought it might be kind of neat to put a shelf right here and then maybe stain it the same stain as the shelves and then put like my spices on it or something. That would be really convenient when I'm cooking to have them right there. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go over there because I do share more like real time things. Not as much as I should, but I'm trying. But we, I showed when we got the window and then I actually did a poll over there to, to, uh, See what you, you all thought if I sh how I should do the trim. So I'm going to show you that. So this is the window, you know, and um, I thought about painting. I mean, my plan was to paint that all white. Just that was just always the plan. But when it when he put it up, like it, I love the wood. I don't like the raw wood though. But I kind of don't want to like paint over that wood. It's so pretty. So I thought about staining it this color, like the shelves right here and over here. And so I actually asked on Instagram and pretty much it was like two to one to stain it. But a lot of you all said that you can stain it and then if you decide later you want to paint it, you can go over and paint stain, but you can't do it the opposite. You can't paint it and then, you know, decide you want to stain it later. So I have decided I'm going to stain it. So if I don't like it, I might live with it for a little while and see. I don't want it to be too dark, but I feel like if I do the white trim, it might just like make it... I don't know, it seems smaller to me. A lot of you said it'll probably make it look bigger, but I don't know, I feel like it would just be like all this white and it's a little tiny window. I feel like the staining it might frame it better. I don't know. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna stain it. That's one of the things I'm gonna do. Um, another thing we're gonna do, hopefully, hopefully, is finish this trim going across the top. And really, that's it. Um, I do have a few little finish finishing touches which I'll save till later. Hopefully we'll get to those this weekend, but you know, well, oh, Marion's got one of them. No, that's what I was gonna. So, and another little uh, thing that I talked about in my original video about my kitchen renovation was these little corbels I wanted to add. So after the backsplash is in, we'll be adding a couple of these. I just found these at Goodwill for like $1.95 for three of them. I think they're like eight or $9 at Goodwill at uh, Lowe's a piece, but I found three for like two bucks. So I've saved them for like a year or longer because I knew I wanted to put them in here. So we have a lot to do to check off, but we're gonna run to Lowe's real quick and get what we need so we can get back and start working. All right, we're back from Lowe's. We got some trim. This is what we're gonna use, very thin. I think I'm gonna have him put it on the top of the backsplash like that, so it'll, I don't know, either that or we'll put it flush with it. But this is the piece of wood we got for the shelf above my stove right there. Then we also picked up two of these heavy duty liquid nails and a scraper or a double pack of scraper to put that on there. So Marion's downstairs getting his saw 
He's going to set it up in the backyard because these things are super heavy and we don't want to have to keep taking them down to the basement where his workbench is and then bringing them up. So we're going to start on this. I'm so excited. It's only like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. Didn't plan on starting so late. But we didn't realize that we didn't have everything we needed. So, so far today that's one trip to Lowe's. Let's hope that's the only one for the day. Look at that, the first piece, not up, but there's a little glimpse at what it's going to look like and it's so pretty. We went, I went to Dollar Tree and picked up some of this foam core. That's what Marion said he wanted to use. And this way he can make like a template. This might be a rudimentary, what is that how you say it? Rudimentary, rudimentary. Yeah. <laughs> way of doing it, but it works. So he's going to cut the template out of foam core and then you know he'll have a, a template to use. Look at that. That's a dry fit right there. So obviously I'm gonna have to go back and like caulk any lines that are, any spaces, which I was gonna do anyways, and I'm gonna paint it, and I'm also going to seal it. So, looks good, Mary. So it's not um, connected or anything, but this is what it's gonna look like with the corbel and the backsplash, and I am in love with it. <laughs> So we stopped and ate dinner and what I decided for this side over here, um, we can caulk, we can caulk and paint and you won't really notice that it didn't exactly fit. But the more I looked at that compared to the back and then, you know, this side over here, I realized that I really need like a piece of trim right here like this and you can buy, um, I think it's, is it just like this or similar? I know you could buy something that you put on the end like that. So I think we're going to just buy that. So we'll just cut this straight across the bottom. And then that way, you know, this trim will be all along here. So it will just look more cohesive. And then this is going to have trim on the outside of it. So it'll all be painted and caulked to match. But all this is done. And then Marion did this piece over here. Now he's just working on the last big giant piece that's going to go all behind the stove. And then that is all the cutting. We still have to glue it to the wall. We're going to use the liquid nails like I showed you before. I think we might do that tomorrow. But after that then I can go back and caulk and paint and stain the, stain the window frame, stain the shelf. Yep, we're getting it done. He's uh, using the foam board to make a big template for this side too, so it's been working pretty good. Just a few of these from Dollar Tree.
All right, so everything is cut. We definitely have some rough edges. He kept having to trim this, but you know, it'll all be caulked and painted. You won't even notice, but here, all of it just up needs to all be uh, glued. And then of course we need to do that piece here. Put the trim, put the corbels, but all of that is gonna wait for tomorrow. It's the end of Saturdays. Mary's gonna take a break. It's after eight o'clock tonight. So uh, tomorrow we'll work on all that. So we'll catch back up with you then. Okay, so we've got all the beadboard um, glued down and we're trying to do the corbels now and we're not gonna, we decided not to screw them in because you can see that um, it's like this isn't wide enough. The screws are in the middle so we would have to add a piece of wood here or I just thought, well, why don't we just use liquid nails and glue it up? Of course, it's proving to be pretty difficult but there is one of them and we've got this one propped up and I'm gonna go back obviously and caulk and paint everything so it will look finished when it's when it's done but I really love those corbels okay so obviously it is Sunday afternoon um, I did not update you guys on this piece over here by the microwave where we had talked about getting a piece of trim we actually did go to Lowe's and we looked at it and it was it, it doesn't match the beveled edge so it is very square and it just wasn't going to look right. I wasn't happy with it. So we stood in the store for a while and we just decided we weren't going to get it. So, and it is just for that one little piece is $30. So if I'm not going to love it, I'm not going to spend $30 on a tiny piece that I don't even like the way it looks. So we decided just to put it straight down to the top of the countertop. I will caulk it and it will be fine. And yeah, I mean, I love it. It's totally fine. So that was a little change of plans. Um, and also we were going to use the liquid nails to put the trim along the top, but Marion, after using it to put this stuff up, he just, it, for some reason, really, he did not like working with it. It stressed him out. So he just went to buy a nail gun at Lowe's. So when he gets back, we'll put the trim up. And once he does that, then he can hand things over to me and I can start painting and sealing and caulking and staining and all the fun stuff. So i uh, just waiting for him. He's, he's picking up painter's tape. I don't know if I said that because I didn't realize I was out of that. But then he can take a nice little break and then he's going to hopefully build my island for me. So I'm um, not sure if that will be done today or if it will be done tomorrow. But once he builds it, then I'll be able to also stain and paint that. And then really like we are so close to being done. There is, we did buy a piece of trim to go right here to just cover up this gap. And um, that'll just, you know, make it look more finished. And then eventually, at some point, we're going to do our ceiling. So we had started to put some trim, but we stopped because I wasn't sure that's what I wanted. So my plan was to go ahead and put that all the way around it. But I might just go back up and paint. You know, I left a little piece, a little part unpainted. I might just paint it and then wait until we do our whole ceiling before I do the trim because I don't quite know what I'm doing on my ceiling yet and my light fixture right here that's going to be like a big deal you know a big project redoing this and deciding what we want so that'll be another phase of the kitchen but anyways so after we get the island and everything we may just be done which is so fun so exciting and then I'm going to do like I said I'm going to do a whole um, start to finish you know I lost all my footage so I'm going to have to be creative and maybe find some old photos or something to show before and afters but it is such a drastic difference and I definitely want to share that with you all and then also you know the pricing on everything at least in our area you know like what things cost you have a general idea if it's something you want to do or if it's something that you wanted you know like new countertops or you needed a new sink or a new faucet you'd have an idea and I'll try to put the links all in that video as much as many links as I'm able to um, to what I 
what I actually chose but anyways when Mary gets back we'll start with the trim and then I'm gonna have a busy evening because it's already like four o'clock so I'm probably gonna be doing this for a while all right he got his back with his nail gun he got me some painters tape so I decided I'm gonna stain before I paint because that way if I get any stain on the backsplash I can paint over it so I'm gonna go ahead and tape up this window and he is reading about the gun so he can put the trim up Okay, so I've taped everything. I'm gonna go ahead and stain the window trim, and this is what I'm using. This is what I have used on everything in here. Sorry, it is uh, blurry. Come on, I, I know it's blurry. The Minwax Wood Finish Red Oak 215. So that's the one I'll be uh, using for everything. That's this, this same one. So after I do that, then I can paint. But Marion is just cutting the last piece of wood. He's gonna put the trim, he's gonna nail it um, to this cabinet just to cover that up. And then I'll paint that as well. But he's got the rest of the trim up and it worked really good. So this will all be painted white.
right, so obviously it is Monday. We have been working hard today. I have my washer and dryer both going, so I'm trying to like get out of the way so it's not so loud. So as you saw, we finished the backsplash. I went ahead and did two coats of paint and then one coat of um, polycrylic to seal it, but I'm gonna go back and do another coat, like especially all along that side where the sink is. I wanna make sure that it's nice and sealed. I also did the, the framing around the window. I don't want any water to get up there and mess it up. So, and then I did all the caulking, which that was a chore, let me tell you. I've caulked a lot of times, but like that, it was just really tricky, I don't know. I wanted to take the paint off of the beadboard, so it was very tricky. But I think I got it all sealed. I used like a whole thing of caulk <laughs> for this whole thing, but look at how beautiful. And then the window, which is the star of the show to me, that's my favorite part, I think, of my whole kitchen. <laughs> and who knew when I first saw it, I was like, that's so tiny. But then I had that thought to stain it. And I love that it's different than the rest of the windows. I usually like the continuity, I guess. But I don't know. I just really wanted that, like, barnwood look. And it just, it's gorgeous. Enough about that. I know I'll talk more about that later. But um, we are working on the island right now. So I'm going to show you the materials that we have. I did show them in a a recent vlog when we picked them up but I'm going to show you what we're using to make it. Mary's actually building it for me. It's just our own. Let me get out of here. It's too loud. Um, sorry. It's quieter in here. So it's just my own like idea, my own design. I just knew I wanted like big fat chunky legs and I wanted it to be kind of like simple and not not complicated. And I, wanted, I didn't want it to be like heavy and bulky. I wanted it to be kind of easy to move if I need to and so we came up with a plan and a design and it's exactly what I wanted and I'm going to be painting the legs of it the green color that I used for the back door it's called icy teal and then I'm going to paint the t I mean I'm going to stain the top with the same stain that I've done all the things in the kitchen and then I'm going to do a real good couple coats of polycrylic on top just to seal it it's going to be like this um uh, coffee table of mine that we did that to years and years ago but I'm so excited. It's going to look exactly like I want. I'm glad that I decided not to just keep my old one, but to build a new one. And total, so far we've only spent $35 on wood. He's going to get some screws, so I don't know how much that will be. But very inexpensive for a nice custom island that's exactly like I wanted. So I'm going to go show you the materials that we're using for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and touch up the gray around the trim at the top. Because, you know, we, we don't know what we're going to do for the ceiling yet. And so instead of putting the trim up that I bought, I'm actually going to just wait until I have a plan for the whole ceiling. So I'm going to touch that up while he's gone and then we'll start working on the island. But I'm not going to show you the finished island in this video only because I want to save that for the final kitchen reveal video. I want to keep some things a surprise. But these are the 4x4 legs and then this is the top. They're just thin. This is going to be stained, painted, and then we just had a bunch of scrap wood that we're using for the brace to support it. So that's the, the wood for that. I got all except right there so when Marion gets back he'll have to move the refrigerator out and I'll finish that but I got the rest done and look at my floor <laughs> hopefully we will get this island built tonight I'll give you a little footage of that and then I'll see you guys in my next video which is gonna be it the final kitchen video so make sure to be looking for that give this video a thumbs up if you liked it I appreciate you so much coming on this journey with me all of your kindness and your excitement for me you just really touched me and i appreciate like how excited you guys are for me god's provided and we are so grateful i'm so excited sharing it with you all so like i said give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one